Hey guys, thanks for joining me. I don't even know how to start this video tonight. I'm really saddened by what I hear. Uh, I was just recently talking to a student. I'm sad, I'm frustrated, I'm angry. Um, I, I'm just downright pissed off about some of the stuff I see. And I, I just, it's hard for me to stay silent when I just see ignorance and stupidity in this sport. I love this sport so much. I, I fell in love with it. Almost 30 years ago, I started training. And I was one of the first instructors in the United States uh, training. And uh, there was just a handful of us. And I've watched the sport grow and develop into nothing but stupidity with some of the instructors, uh, with some of the people out there that want to be a YouTube celebrity. It's just frustrating to watch. People coming into the sport are downright confused. They actually think this sport is dangerous, and it's not. This sport is as safe as you want it to be. I, I would venture to say it's way more safe than driving a motorcycle down the street. It's way safer than that. It's definitely, in my opinion, the safest form of flight on the planet because essentially you're under a parachute from the minute you leave the ground. Simple thing, keep a landing field in sight and if the motor quits or you have any problem, you float down. I mean, it doesn't get any easier than that. Give throttle, go up, back off throttle, come down. Pull right, you go right. Pull left, you go left. Does it get any easier? But this sport is just full of idiots that just continue to ruin the sport and people coming into the sport, let me tell you something, if you're coming in there, you're gonna be so confused by what people tell you, let's cut through all the crap. This sport is as safe as you wanna make it. And if you wanna follow some of these numb nuts that are out there uh, doing stupid shit just to get a YouTube following, putting some catchy title up there and some, you know, I almost died or a flaming fireball or, or this or that, and they're just trying to rope you in so they can get more subscribers, more views, so they can get paid and they can get sponsors. And these motor companies give them free wings. That's another thing too. These people, they want to continue in the sport, but they encourage these idiots that are out there doing stupid stuff. Oh my gosh, whoa, look at them making this video. Oh, it's really risky outside and it's sketchy, dude. It's really risky, but I'm gonna send it anyways. I'm gonna go fly it anyways. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make my wing collapse. I'm gonna foot drag on the ocean. I'm gonna do the, and see people coming. Yeah, is it entertaining? Absolutely. You know why? YouTube is full of stuff that wants to catch your attention. Uh, it's, uh, it's why, you know, world's scariest videos get, you know, so many, views. People want to see it. There's something in our human nature that wants to see catastrophe. And so the YouTube is full of accidents and crashes and things going wrong. And I don't know, people just gravitate towards them, but these people out there are using them as a tool to just get paid from YouTube, jack up the ratings, get free motors, get free handouts, but they're doing stupid shit. They have no idea how they're hurting the sport. And I happen to love this sport. And these people are hurting it. They don't even realize how stupid it is for the future of the things that they're doing. Because they're creating this following and they're going to they're gonna have people with the same mentality. Most of them dumbass kids that are too stupid to realize that, you know, they have never held somebody in their arm while they died. Uh, they've never, you know, I've been in skydiving and in aviation. And I've held friends that have done stupid things in my arm. I knew they were going to die. I told them they were going to die. You can't, you can't push the limits all the time and just get away with it forever. There's old pilots, there's bold pilots, but there's no old, bold pilots. That's an old saying. I didn't make that up. And it's true. It's so true, it's unreal. But these guys are out there just creating a following. And so as soon as these other idiots get their equipment, the first thing they want to do is try what they saw their superhero do, or this guy do, or that guy do, and they don't pull it off. And it happens all the time. Guy was just life lighted off the field at Lake Wales. You know, what are we doing? What are we doing in this sport? Are we preaching safety? Are we trying to teach methods that help people? Or are we just trying to create a YouTube following with a catchy title to clickbait you and get you to watch it and follow them so they can live in a van and live with their girlfriend and travel around the country and get freebies? Is, is that what you want to do? You want to support people like this? You support these kind of knuckleheads. You're helping the sport go downhill. You give them free motors, you're a dealer, you're a manufacturer, and you're giving knuckleheads like this because they send a shout out to you. This is what they do. In their videos, they'll go, shout out to this person, shout out to this training field, shout out to this manufacturer, look what's on my back. And they just give them free units. They're actually hurting the sport because when people follow that, eventually more and more and more and more deaths. But I want to talk about something else specific today. And maybe you all know who the idiot is. I'm sure you all do if you've been on there. Um, out, in, out in Utah, says uh, he's the manufacturer of the flat top. 
says it's the best in the world, says he's, he provides the super training and if you take his training, yours the safest because you have super training and you have skills that allow you to do other things that other pilots can't. Well, I have to disagree with that. I see them take them down to the beach. They fly in windy air that the wing just stays up and somehow they think that they have, uh, uh, they've accomplished something. These same people leave the field, they can't even fly. They, they're not used to dealing with winds that, don't, uh, that, that aren't switching or moving around a little bit. They're sitting there uh, uh, you know, in beach air thinking, wow, look how good I am. It's got to be the super training. And they call them super students and super this and super that. Well, this super instructor not only has killed other, other uh, 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 students in the past during, in his training. Look it up, Henry Ho. He's still dead. It's sad, he left a wife and two beautiful little kids behind because he was stupid enough to follow this guy who told him to tie into 16 mile an hour winds, 16 to 24 mile an hour winds at the beach. He couldn't handle it. He was ripped into the air and hit the rocks. And then he tried to cover it up real quick and when he couldn't cover it up, he turned it into a publicity stump on him being a world champion trainer. Well, he's not a world champion trainer. He's not a world champion at all. He's never competed anywhere for the title of world champion. He created that. In fact, ask him, say, who did you compete against and where did you compete? Keep sticking to that. Who did you compete against for the title of world champion and where was the event held? You didn't compete against anybody. You're not a world champion. You're just a self-proclaimed world champion. You make a video and if there's not another video doing what you did, then all of a sudden you're a world champion. Well, it's not like that. That's not the way it is. Um, but here's the other thing. He, he tries to imply that if you take his training, you're going to be able to do things in flying weather that others can't. He also says that he has a wing called the Dominator, and if you fly his magical wing, that there's you can't crash. And then it's kind of contradictory because then he says on his flat top, his is safer because it has a crumple zone. Well, I'm a little confused here. Why do I need a crumple zone if I have the world's safest wing and the world's best training? I I don't know, is, is anybody else seeing this or not? I, this doesn't make sense to me. So how, well, this doesn't make sense. Well, we just had a death. What was he flying? Uh, he was flying a Dominator wing. Uh, he was flying a flat top. Uh, he's dead. So if this guy tries to say that nobody's ever died on his machine, uh, that's not true. Uh, they just died last Tuesday. And he left a wife and four kids behind. And then when I checked the time that, uh, that they got to him, it was in the middle of the day. Watch my other videos. That's why I tell people don't fly midday. That's why I tell them to be very particular with the weather conditions. That's why I tell them not to do aerobatics beyond their skill level and take specialized training for it. It's why I don't put a price tag or a time limit on the safety. I don't charge a dime for safety. You knuckleheads out there charging 3,500 bucks for training, you ought to hang yourself, seriously. You're putting a big barricade up and you're encouraging people to just watch videos and train themselves because a lot of these kids can't even come up with 3,500 bucks for your training, making them wait 10 months because some YouTube celebrity sent them to you. And so you make them wait, you make them pay 3,500 bucks. You're pathetic. I think you're pathetic. And if you're watching this video, send it to one of these guys so he knows. I teach safety here. There's no price tag. There's no time limit. And in 1,190 students, mine are all alive, mine are all kicking. And that doesn't mean that I can't have a student die. But if a student dies of mine, it's because he did something. I guarantee it's not going to be because I didn't warn him here. All of my videos are about safety, safety, safety. They're not about, you know, showing you that calling myself a world champion because if I do this and if you, if you don't fly my machine, you're going to die. No, you can fly any machine you want. If you fly another machine, you're just going to be buying something you're going to be fixing all the time from a company that may not even be around, rather than Fresh Breeze. That's why I fly Fresh Breeze. It's safe. It's German engineering. It's got better bearings, better crankshaft, reinforced crankcase, high energy ignition. So it's got a whole thing. But a motor out doesn't cause your death. These people are flying in conditions. I watch YouTube. They're flying in canyons. One guy's crashing into a rock. Another guy's flying midday, lands on the top of a building. I mean, it's one thing after another. And some of these people are even bragging about their crashes. I've broken every bone. Even the guy in Utah brags about how he's broken every bone. Really? You want to learn from that guy? You call that super training? You want to learn from somebody who's that had that many broken bones? I don't know. I've never had a wing collapse 
in almost 30 years of flying these things, I've never even seen a wing collapse. Other than the ones I've went up with reserves on and purposely made it collapse to try to see how fast the wing rate turned to test out a new wing that came out one time. But other than that, I don't, I don't do this stuff. I do aerobatics, but I don't do them beyond my skill level. There's not too much I can't do on a wing, but I don't sit there and push that. I push safety, step-by-step -step instruction, unlimited free training, and this is what I do. So now we got another guy out in Idaho. Look it up. Paramotor crash in Idaho. You can see it. I think it's called Pocatello or something like that um, is the name of the city. Look it up. It just happened last Tuesday and uh, from the date of this, uh, the, this video. So this guy's telling you you're flying his stuff. You can't die. If you buy that crap, then you deserve to get hurt. Seriously. If you fly my stuff, you can still die. You can get... You can, you can disregard everything I say about flying midday and go on up and slam that thing into the ground. You can do aerobatics without taking training. You can even use one of my videos, but I'm going to tell you, if you use my videos to train yourself on a fly and you don't come in here and let me train you when I'm willing to spend my most valuable commodity, then you're an idiot. You're an idiot. Don't use my video. My videos are to keep you sharp, and when my students leave here, they have a reference point to go back to and refresh and constantly, constantly refresh and stay sharp with it. And if they need more training and they don't get it and they don't come back to me and waste a tank of gas or an airline ticket to come back and take more training and decide to go home after I tell them to come back, I can't help that. One of my students may die one day, but I can guarantee you this. It isn't going to be because of what I'm teaching you. And you cowards, you cowards that sit there and backbite flight junkies and you, and you, and you, you question me and try to keep people away from me because you want to get that 3500 bucks out of their pocket and you want to get that $2,500 training charge out of their pocket, and you don't want them to go to flight junkies, you cowards, I challenge you, if this video is up, you know they haven't come in yet. Come to my airfield, take a look at what I teach my students. Watch what I teach them in ground schooling. Watch what I teach them in the safety videos. Watch how much time I spent with them, from sun up to sun down with them. Watch what I do with them, and come in and see. And then if you still think that I'm not teaching them what they need to know, I don't know what to say. I'll, I'll pay you to come in instead of sitting in a little chat room somewhere because you're so worried about losing 3500 bucks from somebody coming to get free training from me and unlimited training. If you're so worried about you ought to be worried about the sport. You ought to be thankful that I'm out there filling a, filling a need that you're not meeting because you're so greedy. You're reaching down into your pocket for that 3500 bucks, trying to get it out of them putting them into crappy gear, putting them into stuff that they have to outgrow and upgrade to other stuff. You're all your little scams. You cowards. You sit in chat rooms with nameless names. You chat in comments on YouTube videos. You sit there and watch my videos and cuss and swear in the videos. Come in. Don't be a coward. My number's public. My field is public. Come here anytime you want. Bring a camera with you. Film it. You can see what we teach here. Watch my videos. You tell me what skill level I'm at, and you tell me what, what technique I'm showing is better. Show me a better technique, and by God, come in and film it, and I'll change my technique. You show me something that works better, and I'll change my techniques. I, I, I was around at the inception of this sport. I've got techniques that have lessened the catastrophe, made it safer for the students, and it made it easier for students to launch. I've developed most of what's out there. The other people came from the side of the mountain instructors. They don't look at their wing. They run with their hands above their head. They have no clue what they're doing. It's one thing after another. It's one accident after another. And you people coming into the sport, I feel sorry for you. This is a great sport. Don't give up. Don't worry about that. Don't, don't let these guys make you think, and don't let the videos on, web, on, on YouTube make you think that this whole sport is dangerous. It's not. It's dangerous to stupid people. It's dangerous to dummies. They're dumb. I don't even see collapses. These guys, when I watch YouTube, I'm frustrated. It's ridiculous. I just wanted to rant on that. But here's another father flying the dominator wing, flying the flat top, and he, and, he's, and he was a super student, and he flew with my student. And my student would tell me a whole list. And a whole, he, my, my student went on and on about what this guy flew like on a regular basis. And if he got that information from, from super numb nuts out there in Utah, that's, that's why he was flying midday. That's why he was flying midday. It's not, it's not the super numb nuts fault. He just, you know, he believed it. That's the problem. 
It's not his fault. I may have a student that falls, but I watch in the other videos of what this guy is telling his people, uh, and it's ridiculous. You can't fly somebody's wing. If you fly it in conditions that it can't handle, it doesn't matter who's flying it. It doesn't matter what his skill level is. The guy's going to get hurt, and that's as simple as that. So don't buy into the thing of, you know, super training. Training is good. But don't, don't let anybody tell you you can fly in any condition, anywhere, anytime, because that's the dumbest thing you'll ever believe. And don't get, don't get into these videos where you're going to try to self-train yourself just to save a buck. Your life's worth more than that. And if you have to pay somebody, pay them. But I'll train you for free. I won't put a price tag. I won't put a time limit on it. And you cowards, you cowards, come in here and say stuff to me. Come to my field. I'll buy you dinner. I'll buy you lunch. I'll take you, I'll pay for your airfare. Some of you knuckleheads, I'll pay for your airfare to get here. Jeff Gohan, you're a stinking coward. You're using the entire US PPA as your platform to market your books, your products, and all of you, 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 you. You self-appointed idiot. Oh, you sugary sweet son of a gun. Dumb, dumb. You're all about safety? Get somebody else in there, okay? Stop using this sport for your benefit. Nobody wants your PPG Bible. We're sick of what you're telling people. You lie to people. You lie to people about me, you coward. You tell them, stay away from flight junkies. Well, they haven't listened to you because we're at 1,190 students now. And I've personally trained each and every one of them. And so far we have a flawless safety record and I'm gonna continue to be out there and I'm gonna continue to warn people about the stupidity of you and these other people that wanna just make YouTube videos for a following. And you people that are supporting the YouTube celebrities just to send, uh, you know, business your way and send things, you're an idiot too. You're ruining the sport. It's just about lining your pocket. It's about selling more equipment and it's about getting $3,500 for training money coming in. Form your alliance with anybody, you stinking idiots. That's all I have to say. Good luck.